Okay, all right, how's it going, Clinkers? Uh, stick around to the end of this video because we've got a special giveaway just for you. So stay tuned. So, hey, hey everybody, uh, Donald here from the Creative Success team at Thunkable. Uh, we're delighted today to be joined for this new um, video by one of our favorite Thunkers, Darren Oliver. Darren, thanks so much for joining us today. Hey, thank you for having me. Um, yeah, it's it's great to great to talk to you. Great to uh, talk to you in person. Let's say a lot of people watching this video will know you from your your YouTube series. Uh, a lot of our users and community members will know you from your your presence in the community, the apps that you've built and you've shared. Uh, lots of great open source apps there for people to to get started with and to uh, remix themselves as they start their own kind of thinkable journey. But can just to begin our kind of our. Uh, Power Thunker coffee today, let's say. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about yourself and uh, how you got started using Thunkable? Yeah, so I think everybody has a little bit different story coming to a platform like Thunkable. Everybody's pretty unique, I think. Uh, for me, uh, I, I work in IT and web development and I volunteered to help out uh, with a local um, like mentoring program for local high school students. And they were challenged with building an app through the Congressional App Challenge. And uh, through that, I was tasked with teaching them how to make an app in Thunkable. And I had no idea what Thunkable was. <laughs> so I was like, I got to go figure this out. And so that was kind of my introduction to Thunkable. And it was pretty much self-taught and I helped these students make an app to submit for their competition. Oh, awesome, that's, uh, that's fantastic. Yeah, the Congressional App Challenge, we've seen lots of people in, in the community who've entered and who've had success at the district level right up into the, the national level. So it's an amazing competition and uh, I'm sure it was a rewarding thing, an enjoyable thing to be part of. Absolutely, I um, as you could probably deduce from my YouTube channel. I, I really like to teach and I, I feel like I'm a, I'm a teacher at heart, even though that is not my full-time job. Um, so yeah, it was really great just helping others kind of take their their idea and turn it into an app with Thunkable, yeah. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I know when you started posting, a lot of us like, are, is, he a, is he a teacher? Is, that, uh, <laughs> is he posting videos uh, that he's using with his students? But um, yeah, for sure, it makes a lot of sense. So yeah, you mentioned there that you kind of had to teach yourself how to use the platform and show other students how to build their, your, your, ment your mentees, I suppose, how to build their own apps. Um, what was, do you, can you remember at all what, what your own first app was when you got started at the very beginning? Um, I can, in fact. So the the students wanted to build a maze game. Um, so like you would be on your phone, like navigating through a maze. And so Very I was like, one, yeah, yeah. I was like, if I'm going to teach them how to do this, I'm just going to, I need to figure out what, how I'm going to teach them. Um, so I ended up making my own version of a maze game. And I actually have a, a series on my YouTube channel that shows you exactly how I made that maze game. It's a little unique um because it's yeah it's 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 a little different but uh it was it was just a great first project to get involved with with Sunkable. um so yeah that was it that's awesome that's uh yeah yeah it's always great as well to get people engaged and get people involved it's have something gamified i suppose isn't it um and so um, there, there are probably people watching now who maybe have never built an app with Funkable before. They might have an idea for this project that they, they might like to build. Uh, if you can remember what it was like to be that earlier, younger version of yourself getting started for the for the first time, do you have like any advice you would share with anybody who's, who's thinking like, oh, I, have an app, I have an idea, but like, I, I couldn't build it. I don't know how to build an app. Yeah, I would say, you know, first off, just, because be, just because you don't know how to do it doesn't mean you can't do it. Um, and you know we've seen and I've seen a ton of people take their ideas and and figure it out using no code tools like like Thunkable. So first off, like just saying like, hey, I believe you can do it, it and you should just really really go for it and don't be afraid to ask questions and just yeah, just really go for it and be. Have, have a learner's mindset because it's going to take some kind of getting in there in the weeds and doing stuff, um, you know, trial and error, figuring out how to do things. But yeah, I'd just say go for it. 
Awesome. Good, good advice for Tunkable specifically, but probably life in general, I guess. Um, yeah, to just go for it and to, to get stuck in. And um, yeah, like I say, we're huge fans of, of your channel and of your, your videos that you have on YouTube at the moment. Um, and I suppose when you have your, your uh, congressional app challenge students that you're working with, uh, that might have been one of the, the factors behind it. But were there any other motivating factors that, you know, um, behind your decision to start making YouTube videos to create this channel and to, to put all this incredible material out there for, for other folks to learn from? Yeah, I think there were a few driving forces. Um, one being I am mostly a self-taught programmer. I took a few courses in college, but I have benefited a ton from other other people's online training material, both free and paid. So uh, as I consume other people's material, I kind of feel like, you know, I, I want to be a part of that and helping others in their coding journey. Um, so that was one kind of factor. Um, another would be, I just love YouTube and I like following YouTubers and I just think it's a fun yeah, platform yeah. to, to build a audience on. Um, and then, yeah, the third, third one was just, as I was going through my journey of starting with Thunkable, I didn't find a lot of videos and I learned the best through video. Um, so I wanted to, you know, help other people who are coming to the platform with making their apps by teaching them how I make apps and, and things like that. So, yeah. Great stuff. Great stuff. Yeah. 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 If anybody is, is watching and hasn't seen any of Darren's uh, videos or any of his series, what we can do maybe is put a couple of links in the description or links in some of the corners or whatever to, to check them out. Uh, but yeah, they're like very specific. You've got a, uh, a well-defined goal in mind and it's kind of breaks out how to how, um, achieve, how to achieve that goal, let's say. So between having a full-time job, being a professional power thunker almost, creating, a, having a YouTube channel as well. Uh, it sounds like you've got a pretty busy workload there. I mean, do you have time for, for anything else? Have you got any other stuff on the go at the moment that you want to tell us about? Yeah, so I do stay very busy. Like you said, I've, I have a full-time job and I am, you know, have my hands on a lot of things, running my, you know, side business, doing consulting and things like that. Um, so apart from my YouTube channel, I am, you know, working on doing more like paid trainings that are, I guess, more step by step. So looking into some online courses and I also am, you know, working on my own apps. So I have an app called send that, that I'm currently working on making better and looking forward to growing that and promoting that a little bit more. Um, and yeah, helping other thunkers as well. So helping people build build their apps on the Thunkable platform, and <laughs> and also looking into building and using other tools outside of Thunkable. Um, you know, whether that be like I did a I did a video recently on Icons Eight. That's the icon package that I that I that I like to use in my apps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was so, a great video. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, I, I have my hands in lots of things, but it keeps things fresh and it keeps things fun and. Uh, yeah, it's, it's just a lot of fun. All right. Well, look, it's been it's been amazing getting to know a little bit more about you, uh, how you found your way into the platform, and kind of seeing some of the things that you're doing, both with your own work and your own apps, but also then helping other people out, whether that's learning how to use the platform or, like you say, doing the consulting and um, and working with them. So it's been absolutely uh, fantastic talking with you today, Darren. Uh, and best best of luck with all the the videos and the apps and the projects in the future. Yeah, thanks to all. And just real quick on the course. So basically on my YouTube channel, I get the opportunity to kind of walk you through making projects. But one thing that I think is a, there's a disconnect is that I can teach you how to make a project or I can teach you like a concept in Thunkable. But on the YouTube platform, it's kind of hard to put those two together. And so what, I, what I'm doing is creating a course that would take you through making you know, two to three complete apps that are paired with like trainings on how to use things like Firebase and Airtable and web APIs in Thunkable. So it, it kind of creates things and makes them go together. So it's just like one complete course that you can take from start to finish and learn how to build apps from start to finish in Thunkable. So that's what the course is all about. Thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. Uh, if you want to be in a chance to win one of two places on Darren's new e-learning course, uh, all about building data-driven apps with Thunkable, uh, all you need to do are three things. Subscribe to this channel, head on over and subscribe to Darren's channel, 
and then come back here and leave a comment under this video uh, and we'll pick a winner and announce it in our YouTube community and um, on our Punkable community as well. All right, great. Thanks for joining us, Darren.